do I sell my kidney or do I become a webcam model? Hmm. Hey, baby. <laughs> okay, do you guys happen to know how much do they pay for kidneys on the black market these days? Okay, let me explain what's going on. I'm about to experience the biggest nightmare of every Finnish homeowner, Putkeremonti. Putkeremonti. Or pipe renovation. Oh, this legendary pipe renovation. I believe this phenomenon exists only in Finland. I mean, it exists in other countries too, but not like this. Not like this. So, let me tell you first how it works in general and then what damage is coming to this particular apartment and this particular wallet. When the new house is built, everyone lives happily for the next 50 years. I mean, you pay occasionally for some not so big renovations here and there, but it's nothing close to being as dramatic as the bad renovation. And then the time comes. They let you know well in advance so that you would have the time to prepare for that mentally. Some people cannot handle the stress, so they start selling the apartments. The buyers normally are not super willing to buy the apartments which have the pipe renovation upcoming because everyone knows what a pain in the ass it is. The first, I repeat, the first thing you check when you're apartment hunting in Finland is when the pipe renovation was done. And if it hasn't been done in the last 40-45 years, you run, you run as fast as you can, unless that is the only thing you can afford, just like me. Yeah, I bought this apartment three years ago and I knew that it's coming. However, they still managed to surprise me in many, 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 many ways. So, what exactly is happening? Well, it is believed, and probably it is true, that the pipes cannot last forever and they have to be replaced once in a while. And I'm not sure how do the other countries deal with that, I'll discuss this in the end of the video, but in Finland it happens in the following way. So, when you own an apartment in the condo building in Finland, it is managed by housing companies and all the apartment owners are the shareholders. Normally, I mean in my case, and I think in most of the cases, uh, you own as many shares as there are square meters in your apartment. So in my case, I own 47 shares. And that's not much, you would say, but wait for it, my friend, wait for it. When your building starts approaching its 50th anniversary, the housing company starts pushing you to launch the preparation for the pipe renovation process. When you agree, they invite a bunch of smart people who x-ray your pipes and then they start threatening you that unless you do the pipe renovation in the next this many years, you will first drown in your own excrements and then in debt because fixing the leakages is gonna cost you a fortune. Once all the shareholders have gone through the denial, rage, bargaining, depression and acceptance stages, they find an engineering firm which comes, uh, studies what kind of bathrooms do you have and draws up a plan of the upcoming pipe renovation. If that plan is approved by the shareholders, the next step is to ask for the quotes from the construction firms. So you send this plan to a bunch of different construction firms and they're supposed to compete with each other. So in the end of the day, you're supposed to get a good deal. And I think in our case, this is when the things went south because the offer we got and eventually accepted was expensive. Sorry, I'm not taking any risks. This is my first monetized video and I don't want it to get demonetized because of swearing, especially because soon I will be in need of a lot of money. You'll see, keep listening. So the final bill looked like this. Planning works. 190,000 euros. Drainage pipes, 185,000 euros. Heat recovery ventilation system, 200,000 euros. Other expenses, 45,000 euros. Supervision project management, 180,000 euros. The pipe renovation itself, 5,800,000 euros. And the total is 6,600,000 euros. 
This figure has been divided by the number of shares. The amount per share turned out to be approximately 1,200 euros, which means that personally I will have to pay approximately 60,000 euros. Yay! And the funny thing is that drainage pipes and the heat recovery ventilation system they were optional. So we didn't really have to take them, we didn't really have to pay for them, but the retired population of our condo has decided let's make it rain! I mean, yeah, maybe it makes sense, maybe it's cheaper to do it all at once, and if you take into account the long-term strategy, it's probably the smart thing to do. But personally, I am planning to sell this apartment at some point, so I would rather save 3,000 euros or something like that. Now a serious question. Why the price per square meter in Helsinki is 1,200 euros, while my parents last year paid a bit less than 500 euros per square meter. I mean, yeah, they live outside of the Helsinki region, but come on, the salaries in Helsinki are not two times bigger than in the rest of Finland, so why are we being charged such a fortune? Do you smell shade? I smell shade. And don't worry, it gets worse. While the pipe renovation is ongoing and it lasts approximately three months, you cannot live here. It's pretty much impossible. Because they come, they turn off the water, they turn off the electricity, the apartment is full of dust, uh, the construction workers walk in and out all the time. So you have to evacuate somewhere and you have to pay the rent there. As if you already don't have the 60k bill waiting for you. Yes, yeah, speaking of the bills, do not forget to like this video. Let's say that every like equals one euro, every comment equals two euros. Maybe together we can save one of my kidneys. Yay! Click it. And yeah, in my case it's going to last for three months. I think some people get away with four or six weeks, but I got lucky. I will be homeless for the entire summer. This morning they came to my apartment with an inspection, telling what they're planning to do to it, and I got some more great news. Let me show you. So, when I moved into this apartment, it was ugly. It was so horrible, it was difficult for me to look at it. But then we managed to turn it into a pretty cute apartment. And I knew that the pipe renovation is coming, so the only part which was untouched was the bathroom. Let me show. So, this is my bathroom. It is in the same state pretty much as it was when I bought the apartment. We just painted it a bit and cleaned it, but it has been like this since the 70s. So, they will remove the bathtub. Into the left corner, they will install shower doors. Into the right corner, that's where the washing machine will go. All of this will be removed and replaced with new tiles, new sink, new toilet, and that's fine, I was prepared for this. The problem is... So, first of all, they will also replace this electric box and the wires will be going all the way externally, so you will be able to see them on the wall and they will be going all the way up, up, up there, then down and then to behind the TV because that will be the new place for antenna so that already sucks because, I mean, external wires are always pretty ugly then this heat recovery system turns out that they're going to install it behind this wardrobe and they told me that they will remove the whole wardrobe and put it behind it but then the wardrobe will probably start sticking out, so I'm not really psyched about that. Next! Uh, so the ventilation and the place where all the wires are and the pipes are, I mean the ones for the kitchen, are behind this wall. And we have tiled it and now they're telling me that they're planning to destroy this part to open the floor and they need to do all this damage in order to replace the pipes also in the kitchen. I don't know, they said that if I will leave them the laminates and the bricks, which I still have left, they will fix it. But I don't know, I have doubts that they can do it well, I don't know. And then they also promised to make some damage to this room, because again, the ventilation and the pipes are behind that little wall, but that is fine because this room is ugly either way and nobody ever comes here. <laughs> and I think they will fix it and it will look 
fine. Oh yeah, and on top of that, they told me that I cannot keep my own tap, even though it's pretty new, it's only three years old, it's been working fine, but if I want, I mean, it's not even negotiable. If they just said that if I will use my own tap, which I can't, like even if I want to, then they won't be able to guarantee that there will be no leakages, so I have to buy their tap, which is about like 200 euros. And that sucks, I like this tab. However, there is something cool about this pipe renovation as well. I mean, it's not cool, but I did appreciate them doing it. Let me show you. So they built this entire room for us to show how approximately the new bathrooms will look like. So this is the tiles we can choose from. You can also pick your own from the store if you want to, but it's more hassle and it's more expensive. But if you really care how your bathroom is gonna look like, you can buy the materials yourself. Then this is the basic sink that they are offering and the mirror. And here it's written what kind of tile it is, which is used on this wall and like what tile is used on the floor. This is the basic toilet. I'm taking another one. And again, another type of mirror, another type of sink for the small bathroom. And this is the thing which I hate the most, it's this bending shower doors. I'm definitely not gonna take this type because it's ugly. I mean, how can you offer that? It's super difficult to close, like, I mean, making it oh, reach each other. It's, mission impossible and in on top of that imagine cleaning all of these corners so this is why i'm not taking them yeah and here are the alternative colors of the furniture and this is how our yard looks right like right now finland decided that no snow in december no snow in january no snow in february but april yeah let it snow <laughs> so yeah this is how pipe renovation works in finland uh, how do other countries deal with that? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work this way. Because I've never heard that people have to pay for some renovation, which in some cases can cost like half of your original apartment price. I suspect that in other countries it works the following way. Um, the pipes which are shared are probably fixed once in a while by the housing company uh, and the money is taken from the maintenance fees but it's nearly not as expensive as here because here they you know they destroy your whole bathroom they put everything new the man hour is expensive here so that's why you end up paying so much i think in other countries people fix their own pipes i mean the pipes which are inside of their apartments themselves either when it starts leaking or whenever they decide to do that and i think in the end of the day it is probably more hassle because it's not done for you but i bet it's much cheaper because you know you have control over who do you hire some people can even do that themselves like my dad is really good at renovating stuff he has built this whole apartment basically and of course for me it would be almost free if we could do it ourselves but no sixty thousand euros it is uh, <laughs> still getting used to this thought well i mean you don't have to pay it in one go if you don't want to and most people can't you can pay it in monthly installments which means that it's gonna be even more expensive because of the interest but still i think if i will decide to pay it in installments it's gonna be something like 230 additional euros a month for me or i can pay it in one go if i have 60,000 euros yeah let me know what you think about it thank you for watching this video until the end i really appreciate it and like subscribe save me from giving up my kidney please 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 come on how difficult it is to click that tiny button okay thanks for watching bye